Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's daily love tarot reading. Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below. And also at the end of this video, wow, uh, someone's dreams coming true, working for it as well, working, doing things about it, tending the future. Some sort of dream, you could be working on a dream here with your person, tending the future, could be a coming together and tending the future together, maybe the dream was to be together. And now you're tending the future, working toward building. Hmm. Interesting. Always keep in mind these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone, okay? Um, take whatever resonates with your intuition and leave the rest behind. A lot of different situations come through, especially in these readings here. Uh, could be your energy, their energy, a combination of the two. Some for you, some for someone else. Nine of Swords. So something you are anxious about is what I'm feeling here. Something you may have been overthinking, having sleepless nights about. This dream or wish may have had some anxiety. Five of Wands about other people. Hmm. So other players involved here. Hmm. Maybe you needed other people to make this dream come true or... This could even be about your person even, um, meaning maybe you needed them on board with something you wanted to work on making come true. Let's see, we'll get more with the clarifiers though for the general collective and love. So some, some anxiety surrounding it. So I feel like it's something that was pretty important to you. Ooh. Oh, okay. So someone having to end something to start something new. And a love offer coming in. An ex romantic expression. Hmm, could be even asked out on a date here with that card as well. Maybe you were hoping for someone to become single and be able to ask you out on a date and maybe they're coming forward because five of wands suggesting other people could be another relationship that they were in or that yeah it could be because it had something to do with them maybe they needed to be on board so maybe they needed to be single right in order to come uh forward or you could be you as well maybe you needed to break up with someone in order to free yourself up for someone that you really truly love you know, removing yourself from a situation that no longer was serving you, but you had some anxiety. What is this about? What is this anxiety, please? Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, healing. So you've spent a lot of time alone. Um, yeah, feeling like a little bit of loneliness and depression here. Uh, could have spent a lot of time alone. So someone may be single for a long time, spending a lot of time alone kind of being depressed about it but with make a wish intending the future this is a good sign that something is about to shift and change in your situation especially with the knight of cups coming out there at the end okay let's see five of wands we have two nine of wands nine of pen two nines Ooh, nine nine that's a completion of a cycle nearing the completion of a cycle wounding past relationship yeah nine of pentacles now they're single and independent so that could be what this ending is here someone becoming single and independent this could have been wounding um maybe this person being in another connection knowing you had feelings for them or something like that could have really wounded you or wounded them as well uh coming through here but wanting to push forward, uh, the five of wands, wanting to, you know, face it, that competition, challenge, opposing, you know, opposing opinions coming tumbling down, you know, really just kind of facing that conflict head on is kind of what I'm feeling with these two together. Pushing past it, becoming single independent with the nine of pentacles. 
Hmm. Yeah, for some of you, it could also be that you are moving on past whatever situation this is and just rising in your own single independent power and moving forward. Okay, so multiple messages there coming through. Death card, what is this ending? Bringing new beginning, what is this about? Yeah, it's about love. So for some of you, it is another relationship that possibly is coming to an end. Um, having to be open and receptive to the new beginning though. Knight of Cups, let's see what this is about. This love offer. Mm, yeah, see, so there was definitely this here. Someone was definitely in that disappointed, depressed, kind of bored with it, sick of waiting, impatience, three of cups. So someone having to end something here. Okay, uh, possibly another relationship that might have been, you know, it, it already lived. It's, it, it already, what is the word I'm looking for? Like, it went through its course. You know what I mean by that. I can't even speak right now. Um, it ran its course. That's the word I was looking for. It, it already ran its course. Um, it's something that no longer serves someone. So they're having to end it because they, they have to be single in order to move forward with this nine of wands. Um, again, could be you or your person. This could be your person and this could be you or vice versa, right? So... But there is a love offer here, but this has to be resolved first, okay? But with the first two cards out, once again, I do feel like this is saying here, tending the future means, and we have the death card, which is suggesting the ending um, of this situation to allow this single independent energy to be shared between you. In other words, you're both single and independent and able to come together. Okay, so I feel like someone's freeing themselves, okay, is kind of what I'm saying here. Being long-winded about it, apparently, but that's basically what I'm saying. I feel like someone is freeing themselves up for what they desire in life, their wish come true. Okay, we have two, acceptance and my beloved. Wow, okay, so this is pretty powerful. Let me straighten this deck out. I made a mess. This is pretty powerful here. We have acceptance and this beautiful card here is the key acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control so i'm feeling like someone has reached a level of surrender here okay maybe they were trying to control the situation um and now they've kind of just let go and said hey it is what it is you know if it's meant for me it, it will not pass me by so someone reaching a level of acceptance could also be whoever is having to let go of a situation maybe they were holding on to it because they thought like there was no other choice or something like that not realizing that they have the power within um, to make better choices for themselves. Um, and now they're in a level of acceptance that sometimes things have to end for new things to begin. Okay. And then we have this beautiful card here, which my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So for some of you, this could be a high level soulmate or twin flame that we're talking about. Um, loving you regardless of their current situation. They love their divine feminine above all else. So even though there may be distance and even though it may hurt and be painful, um, being impatient about it, you know, really wanting it to happen now, they're still loving you from afar. And, you know, it's, it is a, it's a connection where you're always connected in the heart space. If you want to feel their love, just go there. And whoop, that card hit the floor. Okay, so we have synchronicity. Um, I'm not sure. I think I was talking when the card hit the floor, but I don't remember what I was saying. Sorry. So um, synchronicity. So yeah, you could be seeing signs and synchronicities that this change is happening. Um you know, you see things on TV or on a YouTube video and it kind of, you know, angels are speaking to you, songs that come up, numbers, 
kind of letting you know that you're on the right track, you know, um, heal yourself and just know that something is happening beneath the surface here. Relax. Yeah. Relax through it. So a need to relax the mind and the body here coming out right next to the four of swords as well. So I feel someone is feeling, like I said, a little bit depressed or sad about it. Um, but things are shifting. Ooh, yeah. See another card and it's going to fall right above that one as well. Card 11 in perfect harmony. Um, another twin flame card coming through for you guys today. Uh, high level soulmate or twin flame, but this is indicating balance. Okay. In perfect harmony. So you're in alignment endless possibilities things are starting to you you're able to start tending to a future that you desire when you're in alignment with what you desire focusing on what you desire instead of on what you do not desire yeah so focusing on that togetherness instead of the being separate because we're not separate we're all one um However, you, especially if it's your twin flame, right? So you're always connected to your twin flame. If this is your twin flame. Um, and even if it's not, you're still connected. If you go into your heart space, you can feel someone's love. Okay, so and I feel like with endless possibilities, that's that tending the future and the dream coming true. Um, realizing that dream. You know, it coming to fruition and then realizing like, wow, so dreams do come true, you know, diligence. Yeah. Working hard. So work hard on inner stuff um, and someone working hard here as well for the future. So I feel like hard work here is paying off for hard work in the physical, tending the future, building, growing together. Very nice. Let's see what else. What else for the general collective and love? So there's work going on on all levels here. Waiting. Yeah, there's that a kind of feeling impatience and losing hope. Yeah, but don't lose hope. Okay, um, just know that your dreams are possible. Just focus on what you actually want is what I'm getting here. Um, kind of move beyond the impatience and just kind of um, relax the mind, quiet the thoughts, because this is a lot of overthinking, that nine of swords. So a need to quiet the mind. And of course, it might not be you. This could be your person that's going through that and needing to quiet their mind in order to make whatever changes they need to make in their life. Clean it up. Yeah, there's that. Definitely putting that work in, though. See, diligence, cleaning it up. The work is happening. It might not be something that's, again, noticeable to the naked eye. It might be someone, uh, something that's going on energetically um, in someone here. You, your harvest time again. Wow. I think this card came out either yesterday or the day before. Mm, it was a lot about alignment yesterday as well. Yeah, see, the hard work will pay off. Making a wish and tending the future. This is good things will come of this work being put in. Whether it be energetically or physically. Mm, very nice. Harvest time. Card 11 as well. That was fast. That came out I think yesterday too. I want to say it did. <laughs> um, look to your inner strength. And then we have love indoors as well and focus on love so three okay so this one's separate and then these two stuck together so look to your inner strength yeah just go within right and instead of overthinking feel card 11 again 
Yeah, is that 11? They're so small. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I heard card 11. So, yeah. Another 11 coming through. So, 11, 11. Definitely a sign of twin flames as well. But looking to your inner strength, okay? Realizing that you are stronger than you're giving yourself credit for, okay? You can get through this um, and overcome that mind. And then we have two here together. Yeah, focus on love. Focus on what you want and not what you don't want. Love endures. This will stand the test of time, but you just have to be open and receptive to it. And not close down. Hmm. The fear and doubt might be causing someone here to push someone away is what I'm hearing here. This here might be causing someone to push someone else away it'll block the universal flow you know if they're trying to convey a message to you in some way and you're kind of pushing it away um, it's kind of blocking that flow of good loving energy so yeah rise above that focus on what you do want to happen and just know and believe that it can this love endures so for some of you i definitely feel like this is a long-term situation that could be coming about here happiness yeah beautiful um so happiness coming through it's on the way um it's it is there is a lot of waiting i feel in this situation because we have it all over the place i kind of felt it here then we had the four of cups and then we had the waiting card there's been a lot of need for patience um the message here is kind of like hang in there you know you got this go into your heart space right and really feel if you feel like this situation or connection um is worth it third party at the bottom yeah just know that the third party situation is coming to an end know it okay just feel it in within if if this is you because for someone that was brought to my attention so I feel like that could be where the doubt resides in someone. It's about the third party. So yeah, it is. I mean, it's showing here. And granted, this is in their energy. This is what their soul desires. Doesn't mean that the ego is on board at this point in time. There's, they could have fear and anxiety as well about something. Okay, so they could be working through stuff. But again, back to those main two cards. Make a wish tending the future suggests that dreams are about to come true and the future will be tended to but just kind of worry about the now focus on what you want to manifest into your life and not on what you don't want and this could be a long-term love a beautiful love situation it says here love does not give up or lose faith love is hopeful and withstands every situation so yeah i feel like that's another call to return to faith all right guys well that is what i have for you for today i really hope that this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow